Hi everybody, so today I'm going to show and demonstrate how to take the Egyptian level from Coin Porsche Pro that you can see here, and we're going to customize it to build a new level that includes parts and prefabs from the Coin Porsche package. So right here you can see that we turned the Egyptian level into a uh, very nice kind of spooky looking factory. So let's get started. So the first thing that we want to do is when you're working on this level, make sure that you click on the scene that's in Unity. And there's no real easy way to copy and paste it. So what you want to do is click on it and then either Control D or Command D on the Mac will duplicate that scene and then rename it. As you can see in this screen, I'm renaming it to custom level and we're going to just go ahead and save it, reload it, and it loaded the scene that I already made. But for consistency sake, I'm just going to reload the new, uh, the, the original. Egyptian scene. So starting here, just by looking through the level and the actual scene itself, you can see that the scene is organized in a way that we include the objects and parts underneath a couple main parent prefabs. So the one here, I'm just going to rename, but then I'm going to show that over on the side on most of the levels in Coin Pusher Pro, there are included parts that you can drag, drop, and replace where you see fit on the levels. So I'm just gonna start renaming a couple of the main parent objects and I'm gonna call it something about factories. But then you can see that the back part here is where the backgrounds are. And that is just a 2D image, but with this, I'm just gonna go ahead and see if I can swap it out to something scary. You could include your own 2D sprites in here as well if you wanted to. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick just the haunted one in the background, just to really demonstrate how that looks. And if you have your own, you can resize it and position it as you need or as you see fit. But ultimately, I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this, and then we're gonna actually build a background that is based on some of the included parts that are on the, uh, the far side of the scene. So I'm gonna spend a minute here. We're gonna clean up the scene and remove all of the little ancillary objects. So all of the little houses and the little like cactuses in the background, those are all 3D models that come with Coin Pusher Pro. You can add, remove, or include your own from the asset store as well. So it's up to you how you wanna decorate the scene, but I'm gonna go take a few minutes and clean the scene up and then just keep an eye on how I position certain elements and you'll see how that the coins will fall and they'll interact with 3d objects
So right here, you're gonna see that I'm gonna be looking for a new texture to put on the pusher bar. It's really super customizable when it comes to that perspective. And you can change the tint of almost all of the models that are included as well. So right here, you'll see that I'm beginning to put up walls on the background. So this is gonna replace the 2D image that was set. So the, the sunrise or the nice pretty blue background, we're actually gonna replace with this, this very metal kind of like factory-like wall. And it's really cool because when you can just customize the level like this, within a few minutes, you can take one level, duplicate it, and then add or remove any of those 3D elements or 2D elements that you want. And right here, you can see that what I'm doing is I'm lining up these long tunnels with the original stands that were in the Egyptian market. And the reason behind that is, is that when the coins fall, if they're inside of the boundary areas marked in blue, the coins will interact with the 3D objects. So it adds a nice level of detail for when people are playing.
And right here is a very quick way to really add some depth and some dynamic uh, effects to the level is that using the clouds that are in here, you can tint them using the color selector. So if you have an area that's supposed to be a little more dark or scary, you can tint it to the dark reds or the dark uh, gray area. Or if you want to make it a little more bright and clear, you can go towards the whites or the light blues. It's completely up to you. And right here, these main areas, the slanted blockers, these are the actual invisible 2D or rather 3D uh, colliders that the coins will bounce off of. So why these are there is that just in case the coin does come back too far, it will allow it to not fall out of the level. So think of these as a protection barrier to help enforce it falling on the 3D models that you guys have there.
And the last bit that I just wanted to explain was the canvas itself. This is the main canvas that you see across all of the coin pusher levels. And it's just a prefab that's included in the folder. So I hope this was helpful. And if you guys have any questions, just please leave them in the comments and I can address them. You know, and, and if you guys are thinking that in the future update, you would like to see this to be a little bit more module or any other suggestions, definitely let me know. Thanks so much.